I'm David from the Cyto Network, and this video is a quick introduction to Cyto Consensus. And I'm going to explain how the network works, but before we do that, I need to explain what problem we're trying to solve. And in order to see it, I need you to start thinking about a blockchain as a network that turns money into more money. So we're going to start with people spending money to do work to support the network, and that goes into the magic of consensus. And at the end, people are going to come out and they're going to get paid. And the magical properties of this are that we have a system somehow that's open, which means it's non-excludable and anyone can join. And it's secure and we've got a quantifiable cost of attack. And most importantly, it's self-sufficient. This is the key property that Satoshi invented. It's a network that can survive without an owner because it's only if it can survive without an owner that it can be trustless and pay for itself. So the question we've got to think about is what exactly is in the middle here? And the answer is what we've got is an incentive structure. And that incentive structure is encouraging people to do the work that makes the magic trick work. And the fundamental problem with proof of work and proof of stake is that there are incentive problems here. And specifically, what people do is what is in their best interest, not what is in the best interest of the network. And so the problems are that sometimes those things aren't aligned. And when they're not aligned, what we get is we get economic attacks. We get pressures to hoard fees or to free ride or to monetize transactions or inferior attacks, 51% attacks. And the result of all of these is that the person that gets the money is not necessarily the same person that spent the money to do what the network needs done. And in classic Bitcoin, this isn't a problem because Bitcoin's a volunteer network. And it's okay if volunteers are losing a bit of money or transferring wealth to miners. But on a scalable commercial network, it's not possible. Because the fact that someone is trying to transfer money away from you means that if you're a for-profit firm, you have to respond by closing access to value flows. So we've got a real problem because with a scalable commercial blockchain, we have to pick between self-sufficiency or openness. And this is the problem that Sato fixes. And it does it by fixing the incentives in the consensus mechanism. So what we're going to do is we're going to be eliminating the economic attacks on the consensus layer by making it impossible for people to extract more value from the network than they're actually contributing. And the way Sato solves this is that we're going to introduce a new form of work, which is the collection and sharing of money. So you've actually got to pay peers in the network for the right to get paid. And the way we're going to pull this off is we're going to have all of the nodes in the network collect fees in their mempool. And when they've got enough fees to pass a difficulty threshold, they're going to be able to produce a block. But the value that we're using to measure this fee is not the actual fee that's being paid into the network. It's the value of the fee halved with every hop that the transaction has taken to reach your mempool. So what's going to happen is the deeper you are in the network, the more honest fee flow you need to produce blocks at a competitive pace. Now, eventually someone's going to be able to produce a block, so we do that, and then we burn all of the fees. Nobody gets paid. Now, this is good, but it's not good enough. The network's open, and it's secure, but it's not self-sufficient because it can't survive without an owner running the infrastructure. So, making fees disappear isn't enough. We have to bring them back. And to do that, Saito uses a hash power lottery. When a block is produced, miners in the network are going to start hashing on a random number in that block, trying to produce a hash power solution that is difficult enough. And if they find one, they're going to take that solution, put it in a transaction, and broadcast it into the network. Now, if that solution is not included in the very next block, no one's going to get paid. If it is included in the very next block, we're going to use the solution to divide up the block reward. Uh, and we're going to give half to the mining node that found the solution, and we're going to give half to a randomly selected routing node in the network. So the miner is going to earn their share of hash power, and the router is going to earn pay proportional to the value that they brought into the network. 
Um, when the winning transaction is picked, you can see that the routing nodes within it that have the biggest chance of winning are the ones that are facing and closest to the users in the network. And what this is doing is this is creating a trap that is only profitable to play with if you are an honest node that's, that's routing transactions that have been made by honest users. If you're an attacker, you're suddenly spending your own money to produce blocks and you're only getting a fraction back. And the only way you can change that is if you start burning a strong multiple of what the network is spending on mining to create multiple golden ticket solutions. So what Saito is, is it's a situation where honest nodes are gonna make money, but attackers hang themselves. And this is a better form of magic. Uh, we've achieved openness, anyone can join the network. We're secure because there's a quantifiable cost of attack. We're self-sufficient because the network is not only surviving without an owner, but it's thriving because we're paying for the network layer. And most importantly, we're also equal. The payment that people receive is proportional to the value they contribute. So there aren't economic attacks or monopoly pressures. Now, this has been a very high level overview. Uh, if you are familiar with consensus systems, you're gonna have questions, in which case you need to check out the Cyto white paper which is available on our network. And if you have questions or comments, please come visit us. We'd be delighted to answer them.